Hey the Collective, how's it going? My name is Lorraine and welcome, welcome to the journey of you, welcome to this Terra Love reading guys. Alright, so once again we are going to focus in on a person on your mind, a person you're thinking about or a person you may already be involved with here Collective, you just want to know a little bit more about this person, their thoughts, their emotions as well as their actions. Now we're only going to come in with one deck today. Okay, we're going to come in with the Psychic Tarot deck and see what messages the cards have for you. Alright guys, so let's dive deep and let's go. Okay, so you have Rest and Rejuvenation. Choose Wisely, Seven of Cups. Okay, Six of Swords, Three of Pentacles, Reward and rec Recognition. Okay, you have the Hierophant, Wisdom. You also have Lovers, Harmony, and you have the Hermit card, Solitude. Wheel of Fortune. Destiny, Six of Cups, Memories of Love, and you have the Ace of Swords. Okay, bottom of the deck, you have Victory and Success. All right, guys, let's, let's get into your reading, okay? And at the end of it, I'm going to pull an Alien Oracle card for you. All right, guys, okay, so let's go. Now, Four of Swords is quite an important card to talk about here, guys, because it talks about taking time, taking time to get to know yourself a hell of a lot better here, okay? But it's not just about yourself here, it's also about other people, but it's a, what, it, what it can be seen is, how do I deal with a situation? How can I deal with a situation? So it's not about just jumping in there and saying what you want to say here or... Especially because we're coming out of heartbreak here when we when it comes to the Four of Swords. So this is why, you know, you need that time. That time is all about how am I going to deal with this situation? What am I going to sort? What am I going to let go of here? Yeah. Am I truly going to walk away from this person? Even after everything that they've done to me? Because coming in with the Four of Swords, it's almost like, Okay, I have clarity now. I can see where I may have or went wrong or what I didn't do. Yeah, I can see how my expectations or my mindsets may have created expectations when it came to this connection or when it came to this relationship here. This is what it's talking about in your reading. Okay, guys, what's interesting here is the Seven of Cups, okay? And so the Seven of Cups can kind of talk about here as choices. These are choices from your past and also choices that are, that are talking about what's in front of you at this time or maybe even the future. So there, it's what I do seem to think that that's interesting here is that Despite what you're going through, despite the way in which you're thinking about a particular person, you know, there are people around you that find you quite interesting here, maybe, just maybe, yeah? And, you know, you may be thinking to yourself, okay, I'll give you a shot, maybe, here. Yeah. Do you understand? Because of, maybe, because... What's happening here in your guys' dynamic and your connection, all right, guys, may not be going the way in which you've hoped, okay? For whatever reason, it's almost like considering here a previous offer. This may be an offer from someone else. This may have been about the past here. When, And, you know, it's almost like, okay, I'll see how this goes. Okay, I'll give it a shot. All right. Yeah, of course, you know, and you have certainty, you have clarity here coming in with the Four of Swords. This is why you're, why you would even consider the offer. It's because of 
what you've come to understand about yourself and how you treat people it's also about that what you did in your guys dynamic or what you didn't do here you know it also talks about the way in which you saw things like i said before that expectation the expectation that things are going to be a certain way here mm. Because you're coming in with the Ten of Swords, the Four of Swords, and the Six of Swords here. Okay. Now, the Six of Swords is kind of talking about here in your reading. You know, I, I get that you're on your own. I get that you've walked away from a lot of people here. See, the leap, that leap of faith into the unknown here, yeah, is to actually walk away from some kind of foundation here. Which is really interesting because that foundation is talking about the Seven of Cups. So, of course, there are, um, there are opportunities in front of you at this time. But which one are you going to choose here? So, you can't make it. Well, I don't know if you can't. And most people, you know, you can here. But is it the correct choice to make when you're coming in with the Ten of Swords? here you know because the seven of cups can also talk about being in some kind of delusional state of mind maybe and you can get there you can get in into that kind of way of thinking and feeling here it is some kind of um emotional state here in terms of the seven of cups hmm but like it says in your reading, it's it's about choosing wisely here. What are you going to choose? What are you going to walk away from here? Because, you know, with the Six of Swords, it talks about a difficult situation that you're going to, to leave behind and leave in your past here. You know, what it... Well, you know, as we're going through, through your reading, it kind of talks about here is that you had options, okay? There were options in front of you. These may be past options or these may be new options, whatever those options look like, because it just doesn't have to be a relationship here. It could also talk about work, some kind of career move. Okay, guys? See, and well... It's like saying here, I've made a choice. I know what I'm walking away from here. And it's the Seven of Cups. So you could very well have made a choice based on, yeah, mm, the truth. Based on the truth about everything that was involved here, especially coming in with the Seven of Cups. You know that you had a choice to make when it came to a particular person. But there was, there could have been more than one person involved. Now, I think here the most positive thing here, collective, is that you went through the Four of Swords. So the Four of Swords is more or less saying, now hold up, hold up. I know what love is like. I've come, just come out of some kind of um, dynamic relationship here. Okay. I'm not too sure if I'm ready, if I'm ready to make a choice, even though these choices are in front of me. I need to know that, you know, I need to know that I'm going to make the right choice because, only because, yeah, I don't want to make the same mistake twice. I don't want to keep making the same mistake coming in with the Four of Swords. This is why you're in this heel and heartbreak here, guys, because you don't want to make the same mistake again. This is what it's talking about. Because there may have been times here, it was really, sorry, let's back it up. It was about making the right choice for you. Making the right choice here may have been walking away from things that no longer serve you. But in order to understand, I suppose, or to get your head around what no longer serves you, mean, may have meant taking time out for yourself. And you do have solitude in your reading. You do have the hermit card here. Yeah. 
because this came down to rebuilding your reprogramming the mind is how I see the three of pentacles here in terms of reward and recognition all right now what it also talks about there in your reading you know It, what I kind of get here, it's coming down to the Four of Swords. Even though it's there's only Four Swords, these Four Swords are quite significant in your reading, because it's always it's it's talking about here what you're having to think about in terms of the Four of Swords. See, rest and rejuvenation may mean here it's not about shutting shutting yourself off from the world or shutting down certain thoughts here or certain emotions here. What it's talking about here in terms of rest and rejuvenation is how can I see this correctly? What do I need to do here in, in order to understand what I'm going through? Four of Swords. What is it that I need to rebuild here? What is it that I need to ro reprogram? Okay, because options, these options in front of me, I don't want to see it how I've always done it in the past. You know, this is something else that could be happening here in your reading. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm -mm. So that I know that I make the right choice. See, this could, if this was your person, what it's saying here is that you may know that this person has options, okay, but you may not be aware of what this person is going through in order to make the choice, the, the right choice for them. Yeah, of course, there's a lot of regret here. You know, you are coming in with the Ten of Swords here, Six of Swords, Four of Swords, but you know both cards suggest i want time by myself i want time by myself i don't want to be influenced i don't want to be distracted by the seven of cups yeah by other things here the, this is what it kind of talks about because in my it does talk about a past so that you know it's how you saw these options in the past whatever these options were for you is what i'm getting okay because we're talking about some kind of foundation here this is what it's also talking about when you're coming in with wisdom and like i said you know not wanting to make the same mistake twice and wisdom is is like that see wisdom is about um learning from experiences here but this learning is like the three of pentacles like i said is this reprogramming all right guys trying to see things differently, not making the same mistake over and over again here. And I'm not saying that, you know, there's anything negative about you here. What it talks about here in your reading is that maybe just maybe finally you're beginning to understand what needs to happen. Or you're beginning to understand here, you know, how to make the correct choice, maybe, here. How to take the correct action. What it also can talk about here is coming out of that deep-rooted mindset here is another way of looking at it, coming in with the Six of Swords and the Four of Swords. All right, guys. You know, no longer doing things the way in which you were shown or told to do things here. Because maybe you did that in the past and it, it kind of, and, it can, and it can kind of come in like that. Maybe you did that in the past, but it's not how you're wanting to do things now. There is so much, what I'm kind of getting here in your reading is there is so much self-determination to create change is what I, what I can see here. But this change is about your foundation. What are you going to build for yourself now? Okay. And if you've already built some kind of foundation and you're going through some kind of cycle here, what it talks about there is that, you know, learning from these decisions to create positive changes. Are you doing that? You know, so that you're not consistently, I think the word is, creating the same mistake over and over again. 
So you do have lovers coming in. Now this lovers card talks, of, you know, I kind of kind of telling me here with the Ten of Swords, see, it's not just about other people. It can also talk about your patterns and your habits here. Okay, how you, you may be working on your control issues, trying to control the situation. You may be working on your manipulating behavior here, coming in with, with wisdom. You know, not wanting to make that same mistake over and over again. Or almost, you know, pinpointing why certain things haven't come into your reality or why your person hasn't come towards you as, as yet. But you do know the truth. You do know the truth here, guys. Yeah. This is about making the choice, but you now know the choice that you want to make now. You know, what this choice may have come from is that you may have made a certain choice or choices here that you you regret. But how else would you know that this is the choice for you? That's what the reading is saying here. How else were you going to know? Because it was about bringing you out of some kind of comfort zone, bringing you out of some kind of mindset here. Yeah, and the only way to do that, well, well, was to bring in the Ten of Swords. Yeah. Now, of course, this has got to do with the Seven of Cups. Maybe it's always been a certain way when it comes to the Seven of Cups for you. Okay? But now, I suppose... It's saying here, I don't want it anymore. I don't I don't want, maybe, just maybe, you know, that kind of lifestyle. It doesn't bring in anything for me. It doesn't change me. Yeah. It's like you've always had options. You've always been the one that attracts a lot of options here. Yeah, but this is about change. Here. How do I how do I attract? Yes, I still want to attract attention, but how do I use it in a better way? Mm. You know, take it if it applies. You're coming in with victory. This is something that you're wanting to do here, guys. Okay, right. We're talking about the inner strength here, the inner strength and courage that you have. Okay. Social media, stop, stop spying, monitoring. That's, I think this is what the, the Four of Swords and Ten of Swords is kind of showing you. You know, your control, how you like to control certain situations. Sometimes you're not aware of the way in which you behave in terms of a controlling behavior, manipulating behavior, until someone points it out here. Okay, and this is what this is talking about here. Um, yeah, stop spying, monitoring your person or their third party. Focus on you, start or focus on mission. Mission program. Yeah, I, I totally get that here, guys. And you do go through that, okay? But it's about pulling away from that and it's about being okay. Being okay about it. Not constantly trying to look for your person in social media, trying to check your person's social media platform whatever social media platform that this person uses. You know, it, it is talking, you need to watch the playlists. Okay, guys, get on Facebook group. Okay, watch those readings also. I post in there, there are freebies in there, guys, that is going to help you, especially if you're coming in with rest and rejuvenation here. Okay, and also solitude and the wheel of fortune. You have really significant cards that talk about, you know, the start here. The start of your journey. All right, guys. And I totally get it being a star seed light worker, star seed light worker myself. All right, guys, alien light being. All right, I'm going to leave it there and I'll catch you later. Book an image reading, tarot reading with me. Check out the details in the description box. Okay, catch you later. Bye.